Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers, GRSE, has partnered with Bengaluru-based Merlin Hawk Aerospace to design and produce composite doors and hatches for Indian Navy warships. These composites, lighter and more durable than steel, offer resistance to corrosion, fire, and moisture while reducing maintenance costs and improving efficiency. The collaboration, targeting at least 50% indigenous content, aligns with the Atmanurbar Bard initiative and strengthens India's naval modernization by replacing traditional steel components with advanced, locally developed materials. Russia is set to restart talks on the Ka-226T light utility helicopter during President Putin's December 2025 India visit, now powered by its new VK650V turboshaft engine. This upgrade replaces the French Safran engine blocked by EU sanctions. The Ka-226T, key for high-altitude missions, was earlier stalled over engine supply and tech transfer issues. With India needing 400-plus light helicopters, the VK650V, offering better power, altitude performance, and local production potential, could revive the Indo-Russian joint venture. India's new 15-year defense roadmap includes building its first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, adding to its current two carriers, and inducting indigenous naval fighters for the first time. The plan highlights nuclear propulsion for future warships, new twin-engine deck-based jets, drones, and U.S.-style electromagnetic launch systems. Aiming to reduce reliance on foreign suppliers, India will strengthen public-private defense partnerships. With China and Pakistan as rivals, this ambitious push reflects India's drive to expand its naval and strategic reach. In a major announcement at the NDTV Defense Summit, Defense Secretary Rajesh Kumar Singh confirmed the official selection of Safran to jointly develop a 120 kN thrust engine with GTRE for the AMCA stealth fighter in a deal worth $7 billion. The project promises full technology transfer, including single crystal blades and high-temperature alloys, giving India complete IPR control. Development will start under a national mission mode project with prototypes by 2027, flight tests in 2028, and production by 2036. The engine will also power the Navy's TED-BF, boosting India's aerospace self-reliance. The Indian Army plans to upgrade its T-90 main battle tanks to counter modern armored threats. Currently limited to 600mm penetration, the tanks will be enhanced to fire next-generation APFSDS rounds with 800 to 1,000 mm penetration, requiring upgrades to their 125 mm gun and ordnance system. This will significantly improve their lethality against advanced composite and reactive armor. With over 1,100 T-90s in service, the move ensures India's frontline tanks remain dominant and combat-ready for future battles. The Indian Army plans to deploy 5,000 tethered drones to strengthen surveillance across coastal, desert, and high-altitude borders. Announced in a September 2025 RFI, the drones will provide beyond-line-of-sight monitoring, with 9-hour tethered endurance and flexible non-tethered operations. Equipped with electro-optical and infrared payloads, they ensure day and night surveillance in extreme conditions from minus 50 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius and altitudes up to 18,000 feet. This initiative will give commanders real-time intelligence, boosting India's border security and situational awareness. India is set to test its indigenous Kaveri engine on the LCA Tejas fighter jet, marking a critical milestone in aerospace self-reliance. DRDO's Director General of Aeronautical Systems, K. Rajlakshmi Menon, confirmed that all stakeholders, including HAL and the IAF, are aligned for this phase. The test aims to validate performance, ensure combat readiness, and reduce dependence on foreign engines like GE's F404 or F414. Successful integration would strengthen the Make in India initiative, cut long-term costs, 
and establish India as a jet engine developer. Flight trials will begin soon, potentially leading to certification within two to three years. India's 2019 mission Shakti showcased its anti-satellite capability when DRDO's PDV MK2 missile destroyed the Microsat or satellite in just 53 seconds, making India the fourth nation with such power. Though validated, the system wasn't inducted immediately. Now the Ministry of Defense plans to integrate it into the Sudarshan Chakra Sky Shield, a multi-domain defense umbrella, with upgrades for extended range, better tracking, and integration with ISRO's Netra and AI systems. The PDV MK2 will disrupt enemy satellites, strengthen deterrence, and enhance India's space warfare readiness, with induction expected by 2027 to 28. DRDO's gas turbine research establishment has offered its indigenous small turbofan engine, or monic engine, to powerhouse 2.2-ton CATS Warrior UCAV, replacing the less efficient PTA. 7W turbojets. Originally built for cruise missiles, the Monic engine is being upgraded for reusable missions, offering 4.5 kN thrust, better fuel efficiency, and longer endurance. This move boosts India's self-reliance in defense propulsion. The engine will also support the Swift Stealth UCAV program, which is evolving into a full-scale combat drone with ISR and strike roles, complementing larger platforms like the Guttuck UCAV. India aims to boost nuclear power from 8 gigawatts today to 100 gigawatts by 2047, with major contributions expected from large nuclear plants. Russian firm Rosatom and France's EDF are promoting big reactors as the fastest path to this goal, while also exploring small modular reactors for niche uses like data centers. EDF has proposed six 1,650 megawatts reactors at Jaidapur, stressing efficient site use. Meanwhile, NTPC, India's top coal producer, plans 30 gigawatts of nuclear capacity over 20 years, focusing on cost-effective energy. Nuclear currently accounts for only 3% of India's total electricity capacity. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.